ask God to help you with your unbelief. What's going on church fam? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So one of the most powerful scriptures that I recently read was in Mark 9 about this father bringing his son that had an evil spirit in him to the disciples. And he asked the disciples to cast this evil spirit out, but they couldn't do it because of their unbelief. They couldn't perform the miracle that needed to be done because of their unbelief. So that caused the guy to lack in faith as well. And he was struggling with his belief system. So he went to Lord Jesus and he asked Lord Jesus to do it. And the father of the child told Lord Jesus what had happened because the disciples couldn't cast the evil spirit out. And Lord Jesus responded in Mark 9 verse 19. O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. So before Lord Jesus performed the miracle, he had a conversation with the father about belief. And he said in Mark 9 verse 23 through 24, Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. And straight away the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. And then after that conversation, Lord Jesus performed the miracle and the father of the child was delivered. Reading that scripture taught me one very important thing. There's different levels to belief. See, our belief system will only take us as far as we believe. And that's why in Mark 10, Verse 27, and Jesus looked upon them, said, with man, it is impossible, but not with God, for with God, all things are possible. See, this scripture teaches me that God is speaking to our unbelief and he's letting us know that our belief will only get us. But so far, but if we put our trust in the heavenly father, all things become possible. See, a lot of times our belief is activated through desperation. Depending on the severity of whatever situation you may be in. And that's when most people decide to respect God, to reverence God, to call upon his name when they're going through a difficult situation. But imagine if you reverence God even when things are going good, when your life is becoming better. Imagine if you reverence God then. That's how you be faithful with a little bit. And when you learn how to come to God with a little bit, that's one of the significant keys that will unlock his power over your life. That's how you receive the favor of God over your life. When you reverence God, when you have a deep understanding, when you respect God and the light he should be respected upon, that's what moves the hand of God. But thank God for grace and mercy. See, a lot of times God help us when we don't even realize we need help. See, what that man did back in Mark 9, he asked the heavenly father to help him with his unbelief. And that's when God showed up. He showed up on his behalf simply because he was clothed in humility. He humbled himself under the mighty hand of God. And he said, I will help you. He helped him that day to get through his unbelief. See, when you got pride in your heart, that's what blocks you from receiving the counsel of the heavenly father, the instructions of the heavenly father. the clarity that you need to see clearly on what he is calling you to do. And Lord Jesus went on to tell his disciples the work that they should be doing is believing, believing on whom the father have sent. And that's Lord Jesus. See, as people, we can only go but so far. And that's why in Mark 10 verse 27, Lord Jesus stated, with man, it is impossible. With God, all things are possible because like I said, he was speaking to our unbelief. He was speaking to our lack in faith. 
He was speaking to our lack of obedience. So when you understand your own weaknesses and the only way to do that, you got to push pride aside and you got to realize your weaknesses. That's when you leave your life in the hands of God. That's how you increase your faith. That's how you increase your belief system because you're not relying on your own strength. You're leaving your entire life in the hands of God. And he's going to do what you can't do. See, the Heavenly Father did everything we couldn't do through Lord Jesus. He traded places with us in order to fulfill the entirety of God's scripture so that we may come to a place of believing more. Because when you first start off, it's going to be a lot of things that hinder you because God got to change your mind. He got to renew your mind, your heart, your soul. He got to strengthen you spiritually. But the more you walk with Lord Jesus, the more you will increase in your faith because you're now adopting his ways. And when you adopt the ways of Lord Jesus, guess what? You will be able to do the very things that you couldn't do before. The stuff that was attached to your old life is now put away. So you can finally fulfill the will of God. And his will is for us to believe. And we must love God with all our heart, mind, and soul. Believe that he can do all things but fail. This is something I find interesting about when the disciples couldn't cast out the evil spirit in that father's son. So in Mark 9, verse 28 through 29, it says, And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. So in order to increase what you lack in, whether it be in your faith or in your belief system, we must pray and fast. See, the reason why we must pray is because we got to ask the Heavenly Father to increase us in our discernment, help us with our unbelief, help us to have more faith. We got to ask for clarity so that we may understand the gospel, so that we may live in the spirit and not the flesh, so that we may understand certain things that we fight against that we can't see with the eyes. We also got to pray that the heavenly father sees the stuff that we can't see as far as what would get us in trouble. Or if we're walking down the wrong path. We got to pray for his guiding light. And then after you pray, you must fast. You must deny the flesh. You must read the scripture of God so that you may increase in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. See, the fasting is what's going to empower the prayer. Because when you're spending that quality time with the Heavenly Father, here's what happens. It's not about not eating for a certain amount of time or fasting from television and all that kind of stuff or these devices or social media. It's not about fasting from that stuff. It's about eating that spiritual food. And that's the word of God. Because what empowers our belief is hope. And hope is a representation of the things that God delivered you out of. That's what empowers our belief. Ultimately empowering our faith. Because what the words say in Hebrew 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. It's the things that we hope for. And the evidence of things not seen. In other words, God is working behind the scenes to get you to a better place in life. You might can't see 
what the Heavenly Father is doing right now, but he's doing something on your behalf so that you may be delivered out of the stronghold of the enemy. That's why we should walk by faith, not by sight. And every single thing that you thought was going to tear you down, was going to be the end of you, God deli delivered you out of it. Therefore, providing hope that you will get through the next situation. Shall it be one? See, that father thought his son wouldn't get out of that situation. He thought his son wouldn't get delivered. And it's somebody that got children right now. You might feel hopeless right now because your children are living a certain way. But when you believe in the Heavenly Father, when you believe he can do all things, God can deliver your child. See, you took your child to this program, this program, you thought this person can help, you thought that person can help, and it seemed like nothing is working. But what Lord Jesus said, with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Give your child to the Heavenly Father. Trust him with your child's life. That's what the Father is saying. And it's not just with that situation. It's with everything in life that's pertaining to us as people. God wants us to believe in him wholeheartedly. So that's why today I pray that you ask God to help you with your unbelief. And God going to show up on your behalf. I pray this video bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.